Welcome back, Muggles, Witches, and Wizards. We are in the middle of a secret dungeon in the bottom of a shop that I purchased for 1,500 galleons. Uh, knew it was a trap, or at least a con at the very least, but we did it anyway because experience. And apparently not 100% thrilled. This is using troll mechanics, it looks like. Note to sell, stop out. Crucy on an animate object, yes. Control mechanics, got it. First round done. It still has the curse mark on it. <laughs> Oh, now we're summoning extras. Great. Okay, so... Gotta be kidding me, no. This is the most interesting boss fight I have had in a while. Also the most disorienting! Ha! Ah! Oh, I don't have any of those. That's unfortunate. Was a close one. Well, well, finally, someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my life. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, <laughs> spirit. So, about the contract, I am a poltergeist of my word. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? 
Uh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time mostly in peace. <laughs> Why mostly. Why enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. <laughs> one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Fair. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait. Did you say one small addendum? I, I did say one small in addendum. I have a successful shop with lots of customers. Would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Yes. Pleasure doing business with you. Excellent. You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I have a feeling about you. I'm assuming it's a good one. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. All right. Still feel like it was a con, but it was a good one. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. Hold your breath. You knew exactly where I was going when I entered that chest. Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. Remember, I own you. Penny, I own you. Please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. I you own you. What's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. No. No, 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 no. I purchased the shop and then went in. Um, shouldn't have lied to me. You should have told me the truth and punished yourself as necessary. I need to go and find Officer Singer. Penny is so sorry. Penny wanted to tell you everything. Truly. Surely Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. You are never getting a sock. Officer Singer, I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason. Throw her the in the brig! To drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I. Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. Yes. Why are you surprised? I am perfectly capable of owning a shop. But, but more importantly, did you not hear the bit about the dungeon? No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before. Repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps yes. a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? With pleasure. Let me guess, she's vacated the premises. Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new... Oh, you come out one drawn, huh? It's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. 
Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're going down. Stop her. Do you care how I stop her? Oh, why can't I use... You're lucky I can't use unforgivables on you. Excuse you. Ow. Nonsense. Ah, uh, was rude. Okay. Ow. Probably would have helped if I had healing potions, but me. Yeah, no, I lost. How much health did I start off with? Nothing? Third time's the charm. Excuse you, what the hell? No, I'm not... No, 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 end this. I'm not starting off with being hit in the face twice because the control... the controllers don't want to work. What the? What the hell? What cheating bullshit? Yeah. 
What on earth are they teaching you at that school these days? a wild student. I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! Don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Checking that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. <laughs> Not concerned about the house elf. It's part of it. Silencio. Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Yay! Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Sweet! Can I get her house too? She doesn't need it anymore. Nope. Return to the shop. I feel like I should own the house just out of principle for grievances and duress or whatever. I could have sworn I've gotten this one already. Lumos. Wow, I have been that dumb this entire time. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well. Penny, 
is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. I look forward to working with you. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop, and Penny will take care of the rest. So do I just get passive income now? Vesters and Venom. It's not how you spell Venom. Cladwell and Brewster. Stitches and Draughts. You know what? <laughs> I think Stitches and Draughts. I choose Stitches and Draughts. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny. We'll be closing the shop by 9 o'clock every night. <laughs> Shopkeeper's coat and top hat. Nice. And the shopkeeper's ensemble. Go me. Is there another quest here? There is. Off on another adventure, are we? Always. Yep. Nope. There it is. Taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made it. Oh, I do hope Mary and I made it. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Ooh, that was a... But I don't want to trouble a student with... That was an endeavor. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, Point? before I go on... I should ask. Are you afraid of spiders? No. Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Mm -hmm. Understandable. But why don't you check on her yourself? Because he's oh, terrified of spiders. The crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, yep. which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I, I never had the fear, so Can I didn't have anything to conquer. So. Why are there so many spiders in Aronshire all of a sudden? I honestly don't know. I've never seen so many spiders in all of my life. It's almost as if someone's breeding them. <laughs> they trap the entire in webs. I was like, to escape it all? Mary always has a way with these beasts. It's very concerning not to hear from her. Is she the one breeding the spiders? Why is it you can't conquer your fear of spiders? When I was a small child, I was being tormented and chased by a group of local bullies and slid into the hollow of a tree to hide. Ooh. Moment, spiders were crawling over every inch of my body. Seemed I'd stumbled on a nest. I couldn't move. Paralyzed by fear of the spiders and an equally profound fear of the wizards I knew were just outside the tree. <laughs> I was there for what seemed hours. I can feel their legs on me now just talking about it. <sighs> Why didn't you ask the ministry for help? I did. Reached out to anyone who would listen. Tried Minister Spout old Spavin himself. Spout but evidently they have their hands full with who knows what else. Doubles. It seems this little Hamlet has to fend for itself. All right. I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aaron just southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. All right. Say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Not a problem. And now I have to save another village from spiders. There's a lot of spider quests in this game, now that I think about it. Oh, hey! Who or what are you? Wait for who? Ma. Oh, you. Uh... Yeah, I guess. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Webb. All right. 
I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning You do residents. remember that your mom is a seer, right? Or at least the divination professor, right? She could probably figure it out without having to actually go there. Trying to gather from these people. They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rave, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladwax, so you will likely find him there. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, a basis for blackmail. Okay. Seriously? Hogsmeade. Wow, I didn't even have the Hogsmeade page itself. I could have sworn I was at 24 last time I found a page, but... Alohomora. Wait a minute, I didn't get my 1500 back for buying this. Oh, I guess it's still a legal sale. Okay. Do I have the money for it? 3000 I do. 75 Highway robbery, my guy. Himself, make a pit stop in the room of requirement after this quest. Mrs. Rape should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rape. I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? Is I'm Isco also a child? Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Uh. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Hmm. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one <laughs> in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Is that blackmail or... Is it blackmail? I would think it's extortion. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. 
Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. <laughs> danger is my middle name. <laughs> Mrs. Ray, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Shall we expect a response by week's end? Best to keep this between us if you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Wrong way. Wait a minute, there's a side entrance out here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Ooh, bright light. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Uh, please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter, who see. We've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't been Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened... That still sounds like extortion and not blackmail. Instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Hmm. What have you been doing to keep okay. the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. Hmm. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. Oh, we're equally dangerous. It, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy For it immediately. Semi-legal reasons. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Ooh, that's cold. Woo! Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Agabus Filbert. 
It's an interesting name. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. Bad choice. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> Perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't mm, go yeah, on forever. No. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Uh -huh. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. What happened? Hold on. What happened to Officer Singer? Oh, we lied. You know, now I think about it, tales of teenage heroism typically involve skirting the law because we can't really be con We have a slight amount of immunity from being convicted. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. I don't know why we didn't just check in there first. Oh, the music seems to be a little, uh, anxious. That he must be around here somewhere. Nope. Can you... Listen here, mother. God. Swim! Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravellian will show me where she was taken. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> no, shut it. Rebellion. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find the Ashwinder hideout is in the basement. You guys aren't very smart, are you? To this room. There must be another way forward. Natty must have been taken this way. Ooh, I need to find quickly. After we do some plundering. Revelio. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Yeah, this is going to be a problem if I have to find everyone at once.
<laughs> Funny you should mention that. <laughs> I am arrogant enough to come in here alone. Gwendolyn Zhao? Where the hell is that? You didn't see me. Not officially at least. You are as dear to me as an augury, whose voice foretells the coming rain. You are as loved by me as a crup could be, his loyalty is true and plain. You have cast a spell over my heart, I want it not undone. You have charmed me from the very start, you have always been the one. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Philbert. Someone messing about. What are you, shy? I've seen more courage in a porlock. Oh, now you see me. You know what? Uh, your nonsense kind of cheated a little bit, so I don't understand how. It why would you put me all the way back here? Oh wait, no, I don't need it. The door's open. Yes, 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 yes. Let's be sure I'm not seen. Come in here alone. Oh, you guys are higher level than me, too. Yes, I understand enemies of higher level will be harder to beat.
Damn it. This would help if I had health potions. Haha! <laughs> Cheat the system. Mr. Wade, Daisy told me you've been abducted. She spoke to my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? But otherwise, fine. I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not able to summon them. It must be dropped by something. Hmm. Rebellion. When we're done here, I'm going straight to the whole head. Could do worse than Peter Pond Ford. Shopkeepers keep their shelves full. <laughs> what? You sure it's in this room? Mr. Rape's one could oh. be in there. Mr. Rape's wand. I'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Reeb, I found your wand. Hey, well done. <laughs> I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. There we go. Would you like your wand back? Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And now it's three verse. We owe our lives Many. to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared. The girl's friend won't come looking for her. Wasting our time. Hold up, I just had it free. So dumb sometimes. Boo hoo! You're evil. You torture people all the time. I need you to turn your big stupid head. Sounds like the same voice actor as the Poltergeist. Insidious! 
This is so dumb! Also, Natty, where the hell are you? What part of we're in this together? Get out of there, you dumb person. Move. Thank you. Oh, finally a potion. Well, that's fine. Real quick, don't go down easy. What are you, shy? I've seen more It's unfortunate that I have to cheese the whole thing, but the game is being a little ridiculous right now. Are you people even in combat? Probably not. Okay, where's the stuff that I need? There's two optionals. This is disgusting. This is your home base. Please stop talking. Revelio. All right. Let's 
Should be a love letter somewhere here. here. Probably up there. You didn't see me. You just thought you saw me. Oh my god. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. That is... He wanted me to destroy this if I... Rather ab abrasive. I'm just leaving. I'm done. Safe. Come back here. Nope. It's not worth it. Freedom. Okay. Not Sai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. That's oh, you, the that troll dispatcher safe. after I just delivered you someone who was causing people to go insane. Uh, I only have a few minutes left. Well, I did very poorly. I'm not going to edit this episode. So I'm going to cut it here and we'll get the conclusion in the next one. Uh, but until then, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again. Bye.